So hi, I'm Justine Parrish, Director of Sewing Lab, and we're here at the Sewing Lab at Art Center in the 1111 building on the third floor. And uh, one of our instructors, Kathy Lewis, is here today, who's going to go around with us and look at some of the projects that the students are working on. Um, this facility has only been here a couple of years, and I've been at Art Center 10 years. Uh, we actually started out doing uh, set up and take down once a week with sewing machines on, on a cart. And uh, we were only able to do this a couple of years ago, full on sewing lab. So one of the things that we're thinking, hoping we can expand into is soft maker innovation lab. That's the long range plan. So then sewing lab would be part of it. How would that be different from this? That would this would just be a part. Uh, because we've already had um, knitting machines donated and we're hoping to expand into some other things. So I'm going to take you into one of the other rooms as well and kind of show you what that's like. So do you want a tour of what the machines are? Yeah, and also maybe just what are some of the different majors that you could save from the Oh, these are all majors. Uh, this is an open elective, so we get students from everywhere. So illustration, product, transportation design, film. Um, environmental, it's absolutely everything. And they, they have one required project uh, at the very beginning to kind of get orientation on the machines and then they can do anything they want after that. So this is the first week that they are doing their own personal projects. Um, and we just require that they are organized and tell us what they want to do and stick to some sort of schedule. So what we have over here, this whole side of the room is all home machines, and this is where we start the training. Um, and a lot of our students have never touched a sewing machine before, so it's, you know, wow. total beginners. Uh, the machines you're looking at right now are sergers, and those are home sergers. They don't get to those until they've completed the, um, the training on these other, uh, these are uh, genome machines that we have over here. So they have to complete the training on those by midterm. And then they work their way over to over there, which is the white machines. And those are semi-industrial. And once they get past that, then they can work. It, it is their choice, but they can um, also train on the industrial machines if they wish. And so the industrial machines are from this side of the room all the way over. And these are our first training industrial machines because we can slow them down. <laughs> so what type of projects are generally used, these industrial machines? Well, the, the machines that we bought are mostly for heavy-duty fabrics, because that's, that's a lot of what our students do, is uh, canvas. A lot of them like to do leather, mm -hmm. um, heavy felt, things like that. So these are not, these are not fashion industrial machines. They are heavy-duty. Uh -huh. um, so you could make like a briefcase or like Oh, yeah, a bag or yeah, yeah. In fact, if we come over here, so these industrial machines, once they learn the home sergers over there, those are training, so they don't break our fancy ones. Uh, once they've been trained and we trust them, they're allowed to use these, and these two are for performance uh, sport knits. Um, so there's a cover stitch, which is will give you whatever what is on the top of a t-shirt mm -hmm. band, and also the bottom hem. And then this is um, what's on the inside the seam. So that's what a seam looks like on an overlock. Wow. So what are some of you know, the most memorable projects? If any, does anything come to mind? Or oh, man. Well, we, you know, we, yeah, we did have a couple of people that were really determined to learn these two machines and do actually line of um, stretch knit clothing. Um, mostly it's the product people because they want to do performance sportswear. Right. And then as we move down here, these will actually sew shoes and bags. So this is a double needle. This is leather. And so it's the only way you can really sew two parallel stitch, stitches at the same time. Mm -hmm. Double needle for leather. This one is a, um, a cylinder, single needle. And this is the first machine we ever bought, which is loud, uh, <laughs> unlike the others. It's loud and fast and scary. <laughs> but, Sounds like a sports 
Yeah, well, the transportation design students love this one because it's. Oh, they they will come in and do um, uh, seat covers, console covers, headliners for cars. I mean, pretty much anything and everything they want to do. And the the when we first got this, we were still up a hillside, um, and it was on wheels, and it was in the shop. And when we moved down here, the shop guy said, "Take it, please. It's the spawn of the devil. We don't want it. Take it away." So we said, "Sure, fine." <laughs> so. And then this one, this is a tank. So this this one and there's a small blue one over there are made by Sailrite. Yeah. And they're actually for making sails. But we got it for students who are doing these huge projects, like which would be furniture, <laughs> upholstery. Um, it will sew 10 layers of sail canvas. <laughs> this is leather. What have you seen people make on this? Like Backpacks. A lot of backpacks because it because the depth of the throat is so deep mm -hmm. that they can get in there. And this one and the small one over there will do straight and zigzag. Mm -hmm. And the others are all straight stitch. They don't they don't do zigzag. But it probably takes a while until you're ready to use it. Oh yeah, we don't let anybody over here until they've proven they can get past those gray ones there. Uh -huh. You know, so it's like yes, we're very possessive <laughs> about the <laughs> machines. So do you wanna go around and kinda see what, yeah. what people are doing? You wanna? Sure. How like valuable are these skills to people? From oh, it, it's it's made a huge difference um, because we we're actually funded by the product design department, mm -hmm. and when we first started, we found out that their ability to make a first sample and a paper pattern, even if it's bad, cuts their cost in half, right. because then if they take it to somebody else and have it made they're not paying somebody while they change their mind, right. which is what was happening. Yeah. So, and then Kathy does some of the sample making for advanced mm -hmm. students. Yeah, so you know, once they're in the class, they have to make their own. But when they go to other classes, they can actually use the lab until they graduate once they get the sticker right. during lab hours. And then all the lab hours are staffed by faculty. There are four of us mm -hmm. that teach. So, and we all have specialties. Yeah. And even Oh yeah, yeah. Um, sure. Invaluable. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because we found out that um, some people got the job because they knew how to sew. Oh really? And that was right. even in, even in the entertainment design area, well, because they knew how to sew, mm -hmm. which meant they could actually make little models. Wow. You know. Sometimes yeah. even stylists will um, get the job because they know how to sew. Right. Do you remember any like specific? Well, I, I know there was one that was, uh, he, was pro he was one of the, the early product students that we had, and he did, he did that briefcase. It was a heavy leather briefcase. Oh, yeah. And, um, and we have the girl that did the swimwear. Oh, yeah, she has her own line. Yeah, she yeah. started her own company. Yeah, but I told her she had to buy her own machine because she wrecked ours <laughs> so with the neoprene. I said, no, you're going to buy your own. So, she, yeah, she's got her own, she was a surfer, and she's got her own surf line. Surf swimwear line, yeah, yeah. So it's uh, yeah. So some of them have told me because they they tend to come back for grad show and you know keep helping, and they've told me that they've gotten jobs because they could. We've you also know. had graphic designers come in and they've they've done um, taken their designs and reproduced them on fabric and then made their own uh, clothing lines or uh, prototype samples. Oh know. wow. Because they can do digital printing on fabric at like uh, Spoonflower, which is one of the online services. Mm -hmm. um, so we actually encourage that. Do, do you have anybody in here that's doing uh, it? Not this term. Our TA has done it on Spoonflower before. Oh. So <laughs> he's worked with Spoonflower a couple of times, right? What is Spoonflower? It's a digital printing on fabric. You can upload it and print anything oh. on, and it's their fabrics. Fabric. Yeah. You have to use their fabrics, but it's uh, but it's allowed people to do you know even if they don't want to do the outside, they can do linings and bags and mm -hmm. you know. So we encourage them to do their own fabrics if if they are organized enough and have the time, because right. it's about a three to four week turnaround to do it. I don't think I have anybody in this term doing spoon flower. You want to go around yeah. and yeah, let's have a look. Where do most people get their materials? Do they bring them in? All around, okay. Joanne's. We we take the we take the students shopping downtown, mm -hmm. week two of the class, 
and they get to uh, shop for their own fabrics and we oh, take fine. them to Michael Levine's and a few other places downtown oh, cool. and look for fabrics and findings and wear them out <laughs> And then we, we get a ton of donations, so I'm gonna, when we go into the other room, I'll show you where all that stuff is. And in fact, even what's under the tables mm -hmm. um, has come from, you know, we had a manufacturer, shoe manufacturer that was downsizing, and we went and picked it all up. And it was a lot of leather, and so these straps are what's left. Yeah, you wanna, you wanna talk to him yes. about his project? So this is Ian. And he is making a pair of pajamas, right, Ian? Yes. This is the pajama bottom. He's yeah. just starting, cool. just starting getting cutting. And he's a new sewer, so he's learning from the very beginning. Um, in this case, I told him to lengthen the legs because they were going to be too short for him. So he added some length to the pants pattern. And now he's carefully cutting. I tell my students to cut carefully because it saves sewing time later. And fabric, huh? and yes, <laughs> and injuries. Exactly. <laughs> and so he's okay. just finished laying out his pattern pieces, and he's now cutting uh, in preparation for sewing. Is this a personal project, or is it for a class, or for? A it, it's yeah. for class. Yeah. It's a it, you're it, they're making them. You're making them for you, right, Ian? Yes. So he's making his own pajama mm -hmm. for um, his uh, for his project. Do you have anybody from Product Four? Not in this class. Okay. Uh, so, Brendan, yeah. are you in product four? No. Okay. So we no. sometimes will have students from um, one of the product classes that mm -hmm. they will come in here to, and, and so they get credit yeah. know, for making it here. Right. Yeah, and, and they're exper experimenting with their designs. So. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, wow. Fun. Yeah. So anyway, he's cutting, and we've got, this is our first uh, class, full class, where they've finished their project and they're just getting started on their on their other projects now. Oh, okay. So uh, here I have a gentleman who is taking a hood apart, a hoodie, and he's using that as a pattern to make his own, um, out of his own fabric. He's copying. His customized a, hoodie. Yes. Yeah, so. Neat. Morgan, do you have anything you want to say about that? No, <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> He's new. <laughs> so, uh, Brendan is making a bag. Do you want to show your bag, Brendan? Sure. Um, making a little kind of a crossbody clutch. Uh, this is going to be the front of it, and then there'll be like a little welt pocket that goes on the inside around here. And so it'll be like a kind of a two-tone bag. It'll be a strap that com comes from like the top and down on the side. So, so they choose their own. Nicely. Sorry, Good. they choose their own fabrics and they combine them in whatever <coughs> way they choose to design. Oh, wow. And I'm uh, always encouraging them that they are the designer, and so they're thinking about all these design choices as they sew the stitching lines, where th what uh, thread shows, mm -hmm. what the contrast fabric looks like together. All that good stuff. So, and, and then we ins we insist on the art center work ethic, even uh -huh. in here. Yeah. So it's like if you're late, you're going to lose points. <laughs> so it's not right. a, it's not just not an fun electric. sewing. Yeah. Although, you know, a lot of them For tell us that is. they, it's sort of this Zen thing. They like coming in here because it's relaxing and yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. I can see that. Yeah. For some, it can be. Yeah. So here's some more donations that we got. Yeah, so we get we get what are called headers from. Um, it's a rep for one of the textile companies that at the end of the textile show, sh uh, she brings them over, and uh, we get all these headers. So the students, this is free. Students can use any of this stuff. Mm -hmm. Wow. And there's some really great combinations that they come yeah. up with. Right. Put them together. And then under this table, also some vinyl. We used to have leather, but it's pretty much gone now. I think. And we even Yeah. From time to time. This is screen. I haven't seen too much of this yet. Yeah, I think <laughs> they they forget it's there. The bag, the, the, like the outside pocket right, the bag. Right, right, right. So we you know, now that we have the space we take anything. So right. we're now encouraging companies to yes, give us yeah. you know, we're not gonna pick it up anymore, but <laughs> bring right. it over. So you wanna go in the other room yeah. and see what yeah. uh 
These machines are the semi-industrial, and they actually are home quilting machines. But they have a deeper throat, and the students love them. They're just really smooth, nice machines. But they only do straight stitch. Mm -hmm. And we have a couple of ironing stations for them to be able to press. Oh, yeah. And check their... Yeah. And extra irons and extra ironing boards so that this is our overflow room. So this stuff was all donated. Oh, yeah, all donated. So this room has now transitioned from, uh, there used to be classes in here, and now we're using it as overflow during sewing lamp class and then also during extra lab hours. And then that third is now being developed for study collection and archives. Uh, so we didn't have a place for it before. But this whole wall, except for these, they can't have these. Um, but our dress forms were actually donated. So there's a company, uh, PGM, that will donate once a year. So we've been doing it for 10 years. You know. We just tell them what we want. Can you come in here and use this facility even if you're not in classes? Yes, you can get materials. Uh -huh. So, you know, we, we encourage, because um, we know the in other instructors that need this kind of stuff. So we encourage that. Um, but you can only come in during, either during a class or during lab hours because this room is locked. Um, but see, somebody even donated a bag full of feathers, down feathers. I have yet to have somebody take it away. But I mean, you see, yeah. it's like linen and all this stuff. And then over here, this is what's left of a big donation we got from Honda. Uh, they donated a bunch of their interior seat cover materials. And there's also some linen that was donated by a ceramics studio. So, yeah, we'll, we'll take whatever they want to <laughs> give us. I just, you know, I never say no now. From the Simtel lab, the students right. will, will come from the Simtel lab and, and ask for uh, swatches of certain kinds of fabric from time to time. Right. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. so Simtel is at Hillside, yeah. and that's color materials and finishes, and, and Marshall focuses mostly on um, the industrial design materials, and we cover apparel materials. So this is like soft goods. So that idea of soft maker innovation lab, mm -hmm. it's all the soft materials as opposed to what the shops do, which are all hard, mm -hmm. you know. But we get a lot of back and forth between 3D printing, you know, the bottom of a shoe and then making the upper here. And so right. there's a lot, of, a lot of back and forth. Do you have to be enrolled in a class, though? Yes. So in order to get the sticker, you have to take the full 14-week class. But once you get the sticker, mm. as long as it's only during lab hours or you have permission, I you see. can come in until you graduate. Okay. Mm -hmm. So sky's the limit. You yeah. Can come in and prototype. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, the, you know, the more advanced students, they know us, so they'll usually contact one of us and, or contact me, and I'll, we'll make arrangements so they, as they get close to graduation, they can come in and finish. In a big and, panic. And you'll work one-on-one -on -one with students. Sometimes? Oh yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So even during lab, I mean, during lab hours, that's kind of what that is because it's all staffed by faculty. Yeah, okay. So like my lab hours Tuesday afternoon, as the term gets later, I just stay later. You know, when, whatever they need. Right. And I had somebody come in yesterday that needed. She got a machine from her grandmother, and we oiled it because she <laughs> she didn't know what to do with it because right. we all know how to fix them. You know, it's like you own them, you got to fix them. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I said, sure, you know, I'll take the top off and take the sides off, but she'd never seen the inside. And we oiled it up, and works great. Your background's in fashion? Yeah, I, I actually went to Art Center as an illustration major. Oh, wow. I was an illustrator and art director, and then I had my own clothing line. Mm -hmm. And then I came back to teaching, and it was, I mean, it's all been within the fashion realm. Yeah. But working in the product design area gave me a totally different view of apparel. Mm -hmm. you know, so a lot of what we're doing is because I've taught in fashion, and I know what the pitfalls are and the way it's been taught for the last 100 years. Yeah. So we're actually trying to develop something different. Uh -huh. So product has a track that is wearables and soft goods. Right. But it is sportswear right. and wearable tech and not, I mean, it, we try not to use the word fashion because it confuses everybody. I see. I see. Yeah. So the distinction is, is it's not. It's, it's apparel. Use for y yes, yeah. wearable, and then soft goods would be 
shoes and bags and luggage and anything that's soft, right. including plush toys. <laughs> you know, because it, like illustration, really well, yeah, illustration students will come in and make plush toys for a story they're illustrating in another class. Mm -hmm. So they can actually make the toy here. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah. So by the time they get to grad show, they have a complete thing. Have you seen anyone sort of switch gears based on their experience here? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, very often. They'll, they'll come in here and discover this and sort of, we, we have a number of them that become what we call product illustration hybrids. Mm. And so they will also take product classes or you know they might take classes in a variety of majors and they're able to put together a really personal kind of approach. Yeah. I feel like I see those projects at grad show. Oh, I'm sure you do, mm -hmm. yeah. Because yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. the ones that have more apparel in them are probably yeah. them. Yeah. yeah. We've even had um, the uh, I, I'm working right now with a company that hired an art center graduate, uh -huh. and I'm doing some prototyping for them for wearable technology uh, uh, garments. Yes. <laughs> well, not in sewing lab. Oh, really? um, he was a product design student, but he didn't take the sewing lab, but he came to me and I did three of his projects while he was a student. And then now I'm working with the company um, doing some uh, product design for them for a specific purpose. Oh, wow. So, yeah. wearable technology. Very good stuff. Yeah. So, I mean, all of our instructors really will do specialty prototyping. So, mm -hmm. you know, Kathy does, specializes mostly in what the product people do, and we've got one that does uh, costumes. Every year she does a middle school play, play mm -hmm. where she does all the costumes for fittings for 50 children. And so her thing is costumes, and then we have another newer teacher that um, her specialty is couture dressmaking. Whoa. So to the stars. She's Lady done Gaga. some things for Lady Gaga. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So, you know, we've, is there are, there are, no, oh, okay. no. In fact, I think I'm the only one that is. Oh, okay. Everybody else, because Art Center never had sewing, so right. we always had to go from the outside to get people who have a lot of experience. Yeah. And this is an area. Right, and since we don't do fashion, then this, this is more like the way the shops are at Hillside. Mm -hmm. It's this really the same idea, except that this is complicated, so they have to take a class. Right. You know, so they don't break our machines and sound like idiots. <laughs> <laughs> right, in the shops, they can just chop off a hand. <laughs> yeah, we, we actually have the um, uh, urgent care list <laughs> on <Yeah>. the board <laughs> and send them over. you got to go now. Yeah, we've had a couple of, <laughs> had a couple of bleeders. <laughs> <laughs> but nobody's sewn their fingers through. Right. So. Come on that day. <laughs> yeah. No, that was, an, that was a rotary cutter, wasn't yes. it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Sliced his finger open. <laughs> yeah, so it's, mm. but well, it's, you know, it's exciting. It is. It's really cool. Thank you so much. You're welcome. For doing this. Mm. Um, so people can know what's here. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So That's like I said, it's all majors and even grad students. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you. <laughs>